Hey everyone, my name is Matt and that's Donovan. Welcome back to our home renovation, remodel, edition, no more demolition thing. <laughs> we are getting started outside today and I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited because we finally have some absolutely beautiful weather. It's been uh, a very long winter and it's been a trying spring and spring has finally actually arrived and it's nice to be outside not freezing or miserable, I guess. So today we are getting started on something that we've been kind of trying to do for a long time, uh, weather issues. We're doing the parch coat on the ICF. The, uh, the issue we had with, these, with this uh, step is it needs a temperature above 40, I think. Something like that. Something like that. Somewhere around there. So when we did the foundation, it was October and then into November, and the weather just dropped off and we didn't have any days where it was warm enough to do this and then it was raining all spring so far too so you don't really want the stuff to like wash off while it's drying so you, you kind of need the perfect weather for it perfect air quotes perfect minnesota perfect <laughs> to put it on so this is going to give the uh expanded polystyrene a more finished look above grade so a little bit of prep work that we did a couple weeks ago actually is when we left the uh, foundation over the winter we had our dimple membrane the black mat was all the way up so it protected the ICF through the whole winter protected from UV protected us it from you know getting kicked by something uh, so we trimmed back the dimple membrane to below grade we have our um, waterproofing membrane just a little bit below grade as well so we have this transition area, so that's all trimmed back. And then the other little prep thing on the ICF is to go over the surface of it with a wire brush to give it a more textured surface that has a little more grippiness for uh, the parge coat to apply, to, uh, to adhere to. Underneath the parge coat is the uh, mesh, or adhesive mesh, I guess, sticky yeah. mesh. Yes, heavy, okay, like a heavy duty like fiber mesh. It's kind of like, mesh tape for a drywall but like heavier dutier yeah. <laughs> comes in comes in rolls like this and you just stick that to the icf before applying the uh parge coat and the parge is kind of like a, a thin mud a joint compound or drywall kind of yeah. but it goes it gets applied pretty well the same as joint compound yeah especially if you use your mudding knives that I'm using <laughs> this is the product that we're using <laughs> comes in a variety of different colors we're going with a uh, kind of a gray color there it is there and it has that kind of loose you know drywall mud consistency this goes on two coats so the first coat is on over here we did this already and it's looking pretty good about uh couple hours between coats and then you can do your final skim coat on top of this. So a couple other things we are hoping to accomplish today. I love when I do these little, I think we'll do this today things. Because nah. <laughs> that's not how the day ever goes at all. <laughs> so we're getting this knocked out finally. We're going to hopefully set final grade through here because this is going to get covered up pretty soon. So final grade, if you look on the wall back here is where it used to be. You can see the kind of staining on the original foundation there. So final grade is somewhere up in this region here. So we want to get that grade set, get us all filled in. And kind of do the last of our back filling because we have a big pile of fill that I want to get out of my lawn. <laughs> the lawn is the most important thing we have. <laughs> we like the grass around here. It's all grass. It's all grass. Uh, and then once that's all done, we can start building our deck. So we'll do maybe some deck framing today. Uh, Donovan picked up all of the uh, the framing for, I guess, the deck deck structure. Structure. Just a little, <laughs> just a little nine by ten. <laughs> a little entry. little deck thing here. We'll do the, uh, the the steps will go here, but we'll do those in the future. We just want to get this kind of framed up right now, so we can, because we need this ledger to be on here to do all that. Because you know, everything's predicated on something else. <laughs> this is what I'm learning. You, you can't just willy-nilly do whatever you want. Well, you can. You, okay, you can, but you pay for it. Dearly. 
because you end up undoing things. <laughs> So that will lead us into being able to actually work on the trim, which is what we're trying to get to doing all the uh, the finishing work on the exterior here. So as uh, we've said a lot, this is all trim. The outside of this, there's no siding on the sunroom edition. So we have a lot of trim to do. We want to get to that, get this kind of buttoned up and looking nice. We also have our window well to kind of finish up. We got the rest of those blocks. So we have a few more cuts to make. So we got a lot of little things to do today. Maybe something big if we get to actually framing that deck. That should be good. Here you go. Bunch yet. Do you want to lay this whole thing over the corner? Or I'll come back. Ah, we can go up there. Just lounging. Just taking a, just a little, <laughs> just a little. Really little, siesta? A little <laughs> siesta. There's some cookies. You can bake that, it's like thin cookie dough. It's a little gritty. <laughs> it's good for your gizzard. Oh. It's finally happening. <laughs> Six months later. This might look finished someday soon. All right, next up is finishing up the uh, retaining wall, window well thingamabobber. Through some kind of miracle, <laughs> we're able to reuse a bunch of our offcuts, fill things out. We're going to have some block left over, and we have only one more cut to make. What's the number? 11? Or, okay. No, oh no. You want to cut? <laughs> I would have cut it too. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do 13. 13, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this to 13. Finishing up here, we're going to glue in the uh, top course, I guess. And then later we'll put an actual cap on. Okay. 
So the wall is just about done. We're gonna leave these little cut pieces on the end loose for now so we can finish up the second coat of parge when it's ready to go. But it sounds like we're ready to do some more backfill. <laughs> Okay, we're done with our rough grading and we're going to start kind of doing some prep work on the deck here while the parge coat continues to set. Five and a half. Five and a half. We are going to make a six by six to go there out of an eight by eight that was a cutoff from doing the front edition. Got a couple of them here. Yeah. You got your pick. That one's got a lot of checking in it. We can cut the checking off. This is prettier. I like this one. <laughs> That's the one? This is the one. Oh my god. Just as heavy as you remember? Yeah, good thing it's only two foot long. Alright, so we are going to resaw this into a 6x6 six six on this thing, my jiggy right here. Instant six by six. See, I cut some of the lumber for this project. You did. <laughs> but it's rough sawn. I yeah. Don't know if we can use a rough sawn. I'll get the hand plane. There you go. <laughs> All right, does it fit? It fits. There you go. Look at that. Didn't have to buy another six by six for a little tiny stubby thing. So that is where we're going to leave things today. We have most of the grading kind of in here. It still needs a lot of... Eh. <laughs> things are kind of all over the place right now, but the, the height is getting a lot closer, which is pretty nice. We spent a good part of the afternoon just kind of planning out and figuring out how all the details are going to work in here as we have siding tying into panels, and this is all uh, trim boards through here. So we figured out the plan for all of that and how it's going to tie into the steps and everything and uh, Donovan put together a material list so he's got an idea of what he needs to get for all the trim that wraps <laughs> everything uh, so we have it here and we can get going on that because some of that's going to be kind of tied in with getting this deck framed and uh, all that so that's probably what we'll do tomorrow is get a little further along with all this stuff we're gonna let the first coat of parge coat sit overnight it's uh, hardening up really nicely and it gives the, uh, the foundation a really nice finished look. 
So then we'll put one more coat on there and we're still trying to figure out or decide on what the kind of the texture or the finish is going to look like or if it's going to be a smooth finish or like a, a brushed fit. I don't know, brushed or broomed or what have you. We also had this situation happen uh, today too. So the, uh, the front idler on here, uh, the bearings are just destroyed. So I got to order some more bearings and we'll get that fixed. But it should have. <laughs> this is what it should look like. So it's got the idler wheel on there and the bearings were destroyed. So something else on the repair list, I guess. We got a nice rain day today. Good day to take care of some indoor things. So we are uh, pressing bearings. Do Donovan's machine shop. Construction. <laughs> <laughs> so we're able to get the bearings, the snap rings, but only one of the seals for this. So today, at least, we're going to get the bearings pressed in here and get assembled, essentially. And I'm going to throw the seals on later and throw this thing back on the machine. But at least making some progress. A little, a little further. A little further? Yep. That snap groove is pretty far down there then. Oh, we've got the um, seal to go in there too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Snap ring in and press that one back. Got it. Done. I think that's it. That's it. I see a snap ring. Hey. Put another seal we put it together. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna just pack the other side with a bunch of silicone and call it good. Or not. Or not. All right, next rain the activity is uh, making uh, flashings and stuff. So Donovan's gonna run through and uh, use the brake to, how many are we making? Like two, three different kinds of, four different kinds of things. I don't remember. Somewhere, somewhere around four. four we'll kinds we'll figure it out. This brake has a little cutter wheel that can ride along here and you can cut sheets down to whatever width you want. Which is pretty slick. Whatever, whatever size you need. So we're starting with this uh, larger roll. It's a 50 foot roll that is two feet wide and we can make our strips out of it at whatever size. Do you know which one you're going to do first? I, I, this is going to be the um, uh, roof flashing on top. The big one? Okay, so this is a big, big old roof flashing for the. Uh, I guess it's like a dormer flashing. Yep, dormer flashing because I couldn't get. I couldn't right. Get yeah. In the color that I wanted. You're so particular. So we're making the flashing that'll go basically from the wall onto the roof here. Four inches should be good. I'm gonna take that up and just see how it fits on the roof kind of. Yep. So next we're making the Z flashing, which is going to go on top of this ball here. So yeah, 
a straight piece that's an inch with a nest on top of there. Oh, look at that. Boom. Some like that. <laughs> it actually works. Work. Wow. How many of these are we making? Two. Just two? Just two? This should be <laughs> just a little over eight feet, and we need 15 feet. Yeah. So. Okay. Put one quarter inch. Put it in the pile. Yep. Do it again. Next up is the drip cap that goes on to the little water table detail. This is going to be for the front of the house. This one here is what came off of the house. And we need one that's uh, about a foot longer or so. Yeah, it's about a foot longer. That's surprising. Good. Yep. Yep, you're right. There you go. Fancy. Fancy stuff. <laughs> okay, back to this thing. I got the rest of the parts for it. You know, I these are fine. And I think what happened is the seals. The outer seal just kind of went to crap. Oh, hey, you're done already. It rolls better than it did before. <laughs> oh, it didn't roll before. It didn't roll before. There you go. And that eyelid just sits there in that yoke and that's, that's it. That's it. So this is just tension with a spring. So it's actually pretty easy to pull these tracks on and off. You know, versus the grease ones. You gotta like waste a whole tube of grease just to take them off. <laughs> and it is reverse. We got a nice windy day today. Back to work on the deck. All right, guys, back to starting on the deck. So we're gonna set the perimeter of the uh, the deck here first to get that all the same level. This post is too tall, so we're gonna make a almost a square thing, a square rim thing. It's pretty nine, close to square. Eight by, nine. eight by nine. Just a little bit. Good. What about there? The length? Yeah, it's flush. You check my level. Yeah. Down. A little more. Right around up up a hair. Uh, right around there. These are actually not bad. I mean, like a little. It's 
over here. It's looking like a deck thing. It's starting to. Right back in the old hole. <laughs> That's not bad. That'll work. So there is the perimeter. Let's go that way. There's not a whole lot of crowns in these. I mean, there's some little wobbles. No, they got, this one's got some kind of goofy thing where that knot is there, but yep. nothing too crazy. Okay. Just waiting for the bobbin to fall out. Yeah, I'm gonna need something a little more. Like a real hammer? Yeah. Eyeball it. Yeah. You've seen that before? <laughs> Well, hasn't really worked out for you? No. All right, joists are all hangered. Time to put on some flashing. Back in episode two, I removed all these deck boards all nicely, and we're gonna use them again, again, again. So we use the ones See, to. This is the permanent decking. This is the kind of. The, this is it. We're going for the rustic deck this look. This is the, the kind of the upper scale, like soggy decking that we were. Yeah, it's, it's got that brushed. <laughs> Moldy. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this, these are the um, the deck boards from the old decks. So we're able to we're going to reuse them temporarily during the construction phase here because these are going to get dirty and beat up as we kind of walk all over them all the time. So this is a good use for this material that isn't the best, but it still has some life in it. And then sometime in the future, when things are a lot more finished, these will be replaced with some kind of hardwood decking which I'm looking forward to doing. That'd be kind of fun. That was back in my naive times.
complete horizontal surface to put it on. I know, isn't that fabulous? You want to put it here or over there? I don't know. It's going to be on the way. Just put it here and something off. Okay, so from decking to exterior trim siding thing, a bobber. <laughs> so these are the panels which will go up onto the wall and we're gonna apply all of our trim boards onto it. So there'll be kind of panel details below each of the windows. Is this Boral? No, Hardy. This is Hardy? Hardy. There's too many people. This is Hardy panel. Hardy, Marvin. Boral. Yeah. We got the, the pre-finished stuff to, and we can paint over it. Oh, good. So it's a cement board. Four by eight cement board. Quarter-ish, five sixteenths, something. Five, six, five sixteenths. Something, something millimeters. It's true. I think you, I think you went through there. So the deck is all in place, at least the the landing area of the deck is in place. Our panels that wrap around here are in place. And we got our pump jack system back in place for tomorrow. We'll start working on uh, a lot of the trim and stuff. And uh, this is gonna definitely transform pretty quickly. So that is, uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. We greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the home renovation remodel edition thingamabobber, Please feel free to leave us a comment. As always, we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.